Hello students. In the previous session, we have learned how the common link of friendship between the author and his grandmother ends. Right? The author went to an English school. The grandmother did not like whatever was taught in the English school. She did not even like the fact that the author was given music lesson, music lessons. Right? Uh, then the author went to the university and then he again went abroad for his further studies for five long years and when he returns he sees his grandmother uh, was uh, looking exactly like she did five years ago okay now in the evening, a change came over her. She did not pray. She collected the women of the neighborhood, got an old drum and started to sing. For several hours, she thumped the sagging skins of the dilapidated drum and sang of the homecoming of warriors. We had to persuade her to stop to avoid overstraining. That was the first time since I had known her that she did not pray. So students, after the author returned from abroad, after his father's studies, one evening there was a change in the grandmother. The author uh, saw a change in her. She did not follow her uh, regular routine of praying. She did not pray. She collected a few women from the neighborhood. She got an uh, old uh, drum and uh, she started singing with them. She was uh, probably very happy that her grandson has returned from abroad after his uh, after completing his studies and she that is why probably she celebrated she wanted to celebrate and that is why she sang with the women of the neighborhood uh, for the uh, homecoming of her grandson just like it is done uh, when a warrior returns his home after the war so just like that she also celebrated she also um, enjoyed the homecoming of her grandson she thumped the ruined part of the drum the damaged part of the drum and sang along the whole family, you know, they persuaded her, they requested her to stop that, to stop doing that because she might get ill due to exhaustion, right? And the author says that he had seen his grandmother for the first time ever not reciting her prayers. Now, the next morning she was taken ill it was a mild fever and the doctor told us that it would go but my grandmother thought differently she told us that her end was near she said that since only a few hours before the close of the last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray she was not going to waste any more time talking to us and now the next morning the grandmother fell ill she was sick it was a mild fever it was nothing to be serious about the doctor also told them that it would go away but the grandmother took it differently she thought differently according to her uh, what did she think she thought and according to her she would die soon she thought that her end was near and she started chanting the prayers because she did not want uh, to waste the last hours of her life talking to anyone. And that is why she started reciting her prayers. We protested, but she ignored our protest. She lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beads. Even before we could suspect, her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers. A peaceful pallor spread on her face and we knew that she was dead. 
so uh, when the grandmother took it differently she was sick because she was going to die she thought this when she thought this way then the entire family protested they tried to uh, they tried to stop her from thinking that she was going to die but the grandmother ignored everyone and everything she ignored their protest she lay peacefully on her bed she chanted her prayers and uh, doing uh, she uh, chanting her prayers and doing her beads and then suddenly all of a sudden she stopped and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers her face looked so calm and pale and everyone knew that she was dead the grandmother was dead now we lifted her off the bed and as is customary laid her on the ground and covered her with a red shroud after a few hours of mourning we left her alone to make arrangements for her funeral in the evening we went to her room with a crude stretcher to take her to be cremated cremated the sun was setting and had lit her room and veranda with a blaze of golden light we stopped halfway in the courtyard so now after the grandmother is dead now the family lifted the grandmother from her bed laid her on the ground and they wrapped her uh, with a red shroud means red colored cloth okay everyone spent few hours mourning the death of the grandmother and then uh, they started arranging things for the grandmother's funeral and in the evening uh, they were about to take her away for the cremation of her body and uh, they stopped at the courtyard now let's see why they uh, stopped at the courtyard all over the veranda and in her room right up to where she lay dead and stiff wrapped in the red shroud thousands of sparrows sat scattered on the floor there was no chirruping we felt sorry for the birds and my mother fetched some bread for them she broke it into little crumbs the way my grandmother used to and threw it to them the sparrows took no notice of the bread when we carried my grandmother's corpse off corpse means dead body they flew away quietly next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin so when they stopped at the courtyard while taking the grandmother's uh, dead body away they saw that thousands of sparrows sat silently near the grandmother's body they sat scattered on the floor the sparrows were not chirruping that day the author's mother fetched uh, some bread for the birds she threw the little uh, pieces of bread to the sparrow just like the grandmother used to feed them but the sparrows did not eat them and they flew away later as the family uh, carried the dead body of the grandmother and then the writer says the writer kushwan singh says that uh, the sweeper removed the bread crumbs the next morning so students these sparrows were so sensitive these birds were so sensitive they did not want to eat the bread crumbs and were mourning the death of the grandmother okay it seemed they were also mourning the death of the uh, person they were also mourning the death of the one person who had fed them who had looked after them uh, who had uh, cared for them so well for so many days so students this is the end of the chapter the portrait of a lady where the writer khushwan singh portrays his grandmother as well as the friendship uh, between him and his grandmother okay so in case you have any doubt do ask me over whatsapp and i will provide you the question answers of the chapter in the group thank you